Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. So I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is a Salisbury steak recipe. It's supposed to be a quick and simple recipe and I will make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. But in my bowl, I have one pound of lean ground beef and I just added in some beaten eggs and then I am adding in some dry Lipton onion soup mix and this is what the box looks like. So I'm adding that in and I'm just gonna give it a stir. So I've got my meat mixed up and I've got a pan here that I've lined with foil just to make cleanup easier. And you're supposed to form the patties into four equal um, pieces. So next, I am just going to pour two cans of golden mushroom soup over the patties. If you're not familiar with golden mushroom soup, it's like a, a, it's like a cream of mushroom, but without the cream, and they've added tomato paste, and there's a little bit of wine in there. Not enough to you know, do anything, but there's a little bit of wine. So I'm just gonna spread that over. And there's a big mushroom right there, if you can see it. And the same thing with the second can, whoops. All right, so I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. It says to bake this for 35 minutes. I'm probably gonna leave it in there a little bit longer. Howard and I do like our meat well done. And so of course I'll come back and show you what our plates look like. Okay, so here is the Salisbury steak, and I did end up cooking it for 45 minutes, and it is well done. I cut one open to see. I tasted it. It does have a good flavor. It is a little salty, which is what I was afraid of with the um, that Lipton onion soup mix and the two cans of the um, soup. So, but it, it does have a good flavor. I will say, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like some a little bit of white things right here floating in it, and that is the fat from the meat. So I will say, if you don't wanna see that, I would suggest that you cook your meat first and get a lot of that fat out of there, drain it, and then add the soup um, if you want a better presentation. And then with it, I'm serving some leftover broccoli that we had in the fridge, and then I made some homemade mashed potatoes. I feel like I did record a video on these mashed potatoes. I'll try to find it but it's just two pounds of potatoes that I boiled, chopped and boiled in, um, in salted water, and then I drained them, and then I just added one cup of warm, heavy whipping cream and a half a stick of butter, and then I just whipped them up, and that is it. And I'm sure you guys can hear Harrison in the background. He's in his high chair. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having ribs, brisket, and burnt ends from a barbecue restaurant. And I made just some quick and easy craft macaroni and cheese to go with it, and also some canned green beans. Quick and easy meal tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. We are finishing up this box of bear battered cod fillets. And then also in my freezer, I have these hush puppies I've been working on for a while. Made them both in my air fryer and here they are on the plate. And then for a side, I decided to make these um, scallop potatoes that I picked up from Aldi a while back ago. I'm not a big scallop potato fan, but Howard is, and these look pretty good. So here they are on the plate. Um, Howard and I both tried them and we both just said they're okay. We would not repurchase them again. So when I opened up the package of the scalloped potatoes, it has a powdered cheese package and then a liquid cheese package. And I thought it smelled odd to me. And unfortunately it smelled like it tasted. So I wasn't, I'm not a huge fan 
Um, I did have to end up baking it about 10 minutes longer than it stated. It said 25 minutes and then 30 minutes for a softer potato. I ended up baking it for 40 minutes. So just FYI in case you happen to have these. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am trying out a new recipe tonight. It is called red rice and I will make sure to um, have a copy of the recipe available for you guys. So in my skillet, I've got some smoked sausage and this was in my freezer. I just sliced it up and browned it, <clears throat> excuse me. And so now I'm going to add some chicken broth And I'm going to add a couple of cans of Rotel, undrained. And going to add some Cajun seasoning. And I am using Tony Sasseries. So I am going to let this come to a boil, and then after it has come to a boil, I'm going to add in my rice. So the mixture has come to a boil. I'm gonna add in my rice. And give it a stir, and then I am going to cover this and let it cook until most of the water has absorbed. And then I'm gonna take the lid off the direction, say, and uh, let the water just kind of cook out. Okay, so here is the red rice. I tasted it and it's pretty spicy. Um, I like it, it's pretty good. And we are also having some cheesy garlic biscuits with it. So. Let me show you the recipe. It's an older recipe that I ripped out of a magazine um, a long time ago, and I looked for this recipe online. They don't have it, so here it is, so you guys can screenshot it if you wanna try it. You'll notice that it says add three cups of chicken broth, and I added two and a half cups of chicken broth because I knew that the um, tomatoes had a lot of water in them, and I'm glad that I did. I think if I had added the whole three cups, the rice would not have been firm. And it is pretty firm here, and that's how we like it. We don't like it mushy. Um, and so Howard made these cheesy garlic biscuits. Um, I had, <clears throat> excuse me, I had picked this up from the Dollar Tree a while back ago, and it makes four, one box. We decided to go ahead and make two, and it made, I think, six biscuits for us. And then all you do is just add um, butter and cheese and milk to it. And this is how they turned out. We both tried it. We think it's, we thought it was pretty good. Um, Howard thought it tasted a little bit bitter. I think it may have been the garlic, but they're okay. I mean, for a buck, you can't beat it. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Trader Joe's Mandarin Orange Chicken. This was out in my freezer. And we are also having these egg rolls that Howard and I really aren't that crazy about. So we just had two left, so I made those as well, serving it over some jasmine rice. And I really like this Mandarin Orange Chicken. Um, it took me a while to buy it because I did think it was going to be sweet, but it's more savory than sweet. So if you're on the fence about it and you're like me, you don't really like sweet, um, you know, like meat, definitely give this a try. It is really good, really quick and easy to make. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.